I would say my favorite thing this year that I have found at Dollar Tree are these cool little hanging shelves. I find these at places like Five Below and you see them in all the stores, but to find them for a dollar is so awesome. So I picked up three of them at Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna be making a simple continuous shelf and I wanted to show you how to do that. So you're gonna keep one of your shelves completely intact. Then you're going to take another shelf and you're going to cut the strings off at the top wherever that metal piece is. I just took the metal piece out and cut it at the top. Next, I'm going to leave my shelf that I have intact the way it is. And then with the shelf that I cut, I'm gonna take those pieces of twine and I'm going to tie them around the knots at the bottom of my top shelf. Once I tie a knot, I'm also going to add in some hot glue just to hold them and make them really secure. Now, the thing that you wanna make sure is that your shelf is as level as possible so that when you add decor to this, it's not gonna fall off. You're gonna repeat those same steps with another shelf on the bottom. Now you could make this as tall as you want it. I just added in the three shelves. Now I knew I would have questions on how to decorate this. So I wanted to show you guys me actually decorating this. So I think with a shelf like this, you wanna pick similar items. So I went with terracotta pots since it's spring and summer, and I added terracotta pots to all three of my shelves. Then I added in a little bit of greenery, and I'm also going to be using accent white pieces just to kind of tie the whole look together. When you do a shelf like this, you just wanna make sure that you pick similar colors so it all looks cohesive. And here's a look at how the shelf turned out. For this next project, I grabbed two glass canisters from Dollar Tree that were in different sizes. I wanted to give these canisters a frosted look and I found a really cheap option for spray paint on Amazon. You know, I'll link everything down in the description box. So I bought this frosted paint and I'm just going to spray it on the canisters on the front and on the inside. And I ended up only needing to do one coat of the frosting, but you could probably do two coats if you wanted it to be more, I guess, frosty, I guess is the word. So I also bought a product called Basket Weave and I've used this in some projects before. It's just a really thin piece of wood and it's on a big spool. I'll link it down below as well. So what I did was I just cut off two long pieces of this because I wasn't sure exactly how much I was gonna use and I wanted to go ahead and stain it. So I stained one side of the wood with a color called Special Walnut. Once that had a chance to dry, I wanted the base to be these wood pieces. I wasn't sure at first exactly how many I was actually gonna put on there, so I just cut it down to size, and then I used my hot glue gun to glue it to the back. I did have one of these that came up after the fact, so I think next time what I would do is use actually E6000 and hot glue so that they're really secure. So if you're doing this project, I would probably use E6000 and hot glue. So I wrapped it around. I ended up having four wood pieces on each one. And I think these look great sitting out as an accent piece. You guys are gonna have to let me know if you like these. Recently, when I was at Dollar Tree, I came across these ferns, which are awesome greenery for Dollar Tree. I was so excited that they have something out like that. So I picked up a couple of them. I also picked up this large container. I think it's supposed to be a drinking cup, but I thought it would make a perfect vase. I started by spray painting the vase with two coats of white spray paint. Now I wanted it to have a speckled look to it, so I took some black paint and mixed it with water. Then I kind of just dabbed the paint onto my jar. I wasn't really liking the look of that, so then I came in with a sponge that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. So I dabbed it around and the spots were a lot more muted. 
With my ferns, I wanted to mimic the look of feathers or the pompous grass that you see everywhere that's so popular. I grabbed out some beigey colors that I had. Now, I know this color is a little different. It's a color that my husband had. It's a camouflage color. So I started by painting all of the ferns on both sides with this kind of dark tan color. Once that had a chance to dry, I realized that I wanted them to have a little bit more dimension. So I came back in with a lighter shade. Now I just did the lighter shade very sparingly, so it kind of gave me that two-toned effect. I added the ferns to my container and here's a look at the final look. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.